Hello everyone, welcome back to Unmole Astrology channel. Now this video is about when moon is in the 8th house and you go through your Sarasati. Okay, so one thing, just remember, the results of Sarasati are quite fundamental. Many of the results are quite fundamental, but Sarasati does affect differently to different people based on the placements. So wherever your moon is, however your Saturn is placed, what planet Saturn is transiting over, all of these factors are going to actually decide how your Sarasati is going to go. And also your Vimshotari Dasha also plays an important role. So that's why for some people, one of the phases can be very, very good in terms of career or relationships, whereas other could be bad. And same period for another person could be act differently so that is what we are going to discuss in these videos okay so let's get started i'm going to share the screen yeah so what if a person has moon in the eighth house and then how things are going to be for them so suppose moon is here in the eighth house so sardhita sati means that when saturn is going to transit in the seventh house your sardhita sati is going to start then saturn is going to be over your moon then you'll have your peak phase and then saturn is going to be in your ninth house so saturn actually travels for 2.5 years in each house and it also does go retrograde within that time frame and for some time like in some instances saturn may move backwards if it is in if it, it goes retrograde in the very early degrees then it may move backwards during the retrogression and then come ahead in the sign okay so all of these things happen and they actually add on more results into a person's sarasati so first of all when a person with moon in the eighth house starts with the sarasati this means that they first there is very fundamental uh, result that the starting time of Saturn gives is that it starts building on a pressure, right? You start losing people. You And especially with Saturn being in the seventh house and your Sadisati starts, you are definitely going to lose people. First, you will also receive criticism, judgments, from your interaction with other people. People will start judging you. People will start putting blames on you and they would start misunderstanding you. And the, and the most problematic thing with having Saturn transit in the seventh house and having moon in the eighth house is that you don't have the energy to express because you as a person have been a very unexpressive soul whole of your life right you don't like to express your emotions you don't like to show what you actually feel you don't like to show the sensitive side of yours and you always put up a very um a different image of yours in the public which is not very sensitive right but when this time comes this sensitive nature of yours comes to surface you start depending on people you start getting affected from people's criticism and that affects you a lot emotionally right i've most of all seen for the first phase of moon of people with moon in the eighth house they even though they have they suppose they are very arrogant people they don't connect easily emotionally with anyone but for this time they will somehow just transform into a very sensitive person even though the other person does not deserve their attention deserve their love or dependency emotionally but they'll start just being mad about it you know mad about the other person just a second so they, they start with the dependency on other people and because of which they get criticized. They, they get misunderstood. People take advantage of them and then they blame you only for everything, right? So this kind of scenario plays out. And also since seventh house is about business, so if suppose you are into business, your expenses related to business would arise. And because of that, you will feel very, uh, you will feel the pressure 
from your business your business may suffer a little you know there could be losses there could be sudden abrupt losses or there could be sudden change within your career within your business because of which you are going to get affected and it would build an emotional pressure over your mind right this would also give you restless nights you know mood swings swings heavy mood swings right and uh, you yourself already are a person who loves to be into isolation or into their own world this actually isolates you more but this also gives you that feeling of neediness that you want someone because see the saturn is activating the seventh house so whenever any planet activates the seventh house it wants unionship right so howsoever arrogant you are howsoever non-balancing of a relationship you are howsoever you are not an initiator in a relationship for this time you would want to have a relationship you would want to negotiate in a relationship and initiate a relationship so you'll see a very different side of yours in the first phase right and that is actually going to be more on the clingier part you know and with the business also major transformation then its third aspect goes into the ninth house so that means that you have to work hard with your morals with your higher learning suppose you are right now in the phase where you have to educate yourself you are going through a maybe phd or post graduation so because of a love encounter or because of a relationship your education is going to get affected right so you have to make a lot of efforts towards that education otherwise it's like i i won't say that it it might cause a delay but it is going to make you uh, you know work really hard towards it right and the, this communication there could be some sort of uh, you know work that you would want to do related to communication and publishing as well right then the seventh aspect goes into the second house so in every time saturn transits the seventh house i always say that you are your rescuer I don't know, I lost the spelling. <laughs> so you are your own rescuer. You are your own helper. You are going to be the one who is going to support yourself. No one else will, right? And this means that all that criticism that you're facing from other people, the solution to it is actually within you. So you have to, that for that time, you have to be considerate of yourself and your health rather than listening to whatever criticism you are receiving on the outside right and then the 10th aspect goes into the fourth house so when 10th aspect goes into the fourth house that means that you have to work really hard to balance the your peace of mind and also so as to balance your home situation home environment so it takes a lot of effort and a lot of hard work for you to actually balance all of those things and also to connect emotionally with people somehow you feel that disconnection with everyone and it they would come it could be a very short phase, it could be a longer one, but there would come a time when you are going to isolate yourself from everyone and you might depend on just one individual as it could be as a part of a relationship, it could be as you know you are depending on your husband or wife if you are, uh, if you are married, right? So because of that, you feel you know that disconnection from the outer world and also your inner world right now the second phase comes in when saturn comes into the eighth house you know this for this period by the end of this period you will start learning about astrology but when this time period comes in when saturn is in the eighth house actually astrology is going to be your escape it is in a way going to be your meditation Trust me, astrology is going to help you. Astrology is going to help you relieve that pain 
that you would feel when Saturn comes into the eighth house. I would not sugarcoat things by saying this, that this time can be good for you. This time may be good for some people. No, this time is going to be terrible. Why? Because you have been a soul who is unexpressive, who is secretive, who has been to himself or herself which is not that should be. You know, that way you are going to depress yourself. So you need to open up. This Saturn comes here for you to learn to acknowledge your emotions, to learn about them, accept them. Because do you know why an 8th house moon is secretive with their emotions? Why don't they express it up? Because they fear their own emotions. They fear the, in, the intensity of their emotions. That's why they choose escapism. They choose not talking about it. Not expressing, not crying. That's why these people look like a hard shell. When this Saturn comes into the 8th house, this takes you out of your cocoon. This emotionally sticks you or depends you to other people. And then it teaches you that you have to acknowledge your emotions. You have to accept that fear and then move out of it. Then grow out of it when Saturn comes into the ninth house. But this time can be terrible, terrible in terms of emotions. You're going to lose a lot of people. You're going to lose even money. There's going to be a lot of expenditure as well. Your public image is going to get affected. Why? Third aspect of Saturn is in the 10th house. Definitely someone will try to defame you or something in your life would happen. And I have also seen when Saturn comes into the 8th house and it is over moon, there's also sexual relationship that you depend yourself on. And for some people, it would also actually it create inheritance it could be there be there can be a battle for inheritance you have to fight to receive that money you have to fight for insurance money you have to fight with the family not family i would say that will be ex extended family rather i would say because definitely the seventh aspect of saturn in the second house you would receive support you would be able to generate the income howsoever. There is going to be pressure. There is going to be loss of money. But still you will be able to support it. And also your family is going to be supportive. Supportive financially and emotionally both. But definitely you have to be very very cautious with your image in public. And image in your career or workspace someone will try to team in you and most of the times I've seen if there is Venus in this house or if there is Sun in this house and then Saturn's transit comes into the eighth house it would either be authoritative female if these both planets are together there is going to be an authoritative female who is going to ruin your image or if it's a lone Venus a female if a lone Sun some person who is at authority. But definitely it makes you work really, really hard. It makes you put in a lot of efforts within your career and also within your public image. Okay. So that's about the third aspect. Then the seventh aspect on the family part. So definitely there's support from the family, their support of income, right? And somehow you would want to pamper yourself because emotionally you feel so, so deprived. And you know, this is actually, this Saturn is going to give you reality checks. And most of those reality checks are either going to be related to relationships or they are going to be related to family members. For this axis, particularly for moon in the eighth house. So for this, you will, you know, it, it is actually going to give you hard lessons to actually open your eyes. Okay, 
then the tenth aspect comes into the fifth house. Tenth aspect, working hard towards your creative self-expression. Creatively expressing yourself or even just expressing yourself. For this time, I most of all do not suggest anyone to dive into shares, although definitely you will develop interest into shares or speculative businesses. But I would not suggest that. Rather, invest your money into fixed assets, long-term investments or investments related to Saturn-related related industries like iron industries, coal industries <clears throat> because of the 8th house or real estate. So you should invest on those particular areas. Otherwise, try avoiding it. Then you have to work hard towards romance. You are going to be criticized because of romance. Or you can say in romantic relationships, you are going to get criticized and you have to work really hard for that. So it's like you find it hard to find yourself, find peace within yourself. And then you look for things that make you happy. You know, the sign of Leo, the number five, fifth house or the sign of Leo. This is also about self-love. That's why Leo people are the ones who love themselves the most. And that's why when fifth house gets activated, it will give you a lesson, especially by Saturn or Jupiter. It will give you a lesson to move towards self-love. Now, this 10th aspect on the fifth house will teach you about self-love. This can also delay your education. So your romantic affair or something which is bothering you emotionally, it could be family as well, that can be as a hindrance towards your education. So that's why you will find it hard to concentrate within your studies. And that's why in this time, you definitely, definitely need to go into meditation. So as to connect, so as to fulfill this house. Okay, now lastly, when Saturn comes into the ninth house, so first of all, you will feel relieved, definitely, because the pressure that the eighth house moon was receiving, that is actually, you know, laid off. But again, Saturn in the ninth house, it does cause delay in one's fortune, one's um. Uh, you know, education as well. If you want to travel, it will actually activate traveling for you. But this travel is going to call, be, uh, you know, there with some delay. It might not go into in the one go. And whenever Saturn comes into the ninth house, how it affects the fortune is that it might not give you things in the first go. You'll have to first learn a lesson and then you'll, you know, uh, get to go on the next step of your life. So that's how it's, it's like you are, you are climbing the stairs one step after another, but every step has some sort of lesson or has some you know, sort of note of lesson that you need to understand first and then only you'll be able to access the next step. That's what Saturn in the ninth house does. Then it also activates. See, Saturn, wherever it goes, it does activate that house. So it is give you, going to give you the fruits of that house, unlike any other planet. Rahu and Saturn does give you things. You need to understand this. So Saturn is definitely going to give you the fortune. Only it asks you to have that reality check and have practical lessons in your life. Right. So it could initiate some sort of travel. It could initiate education as well. Higher, higher studies or higher education or just higher knowledge for you. Right. Then it also distances one person with their father or this time can be a little critical for the father. There can be something that has been, you know, because whenever it comes over moon, in any of the houses, when there's peak phase of your Sarasati, it is actually critical on your mother. But when 
a person has 8th house moon and Saturn is transiting with the Sarasati aspect, it, can, it is going to be a little heavier on the father as well. Right? So, same process of yours, Sarasati, same process of Sarasati is going to somehow start with the father. Then he is going to start feeling the pressure. Then he is going to have some pressurizing things and events in his life. And his health would also be one of the concerns. Right? Then the third art aspect goes into the 11th house. It takes a lot of efforts for you to fulfill your desires and to connect with social circle. It's not that it becomes almost impossible for you to have friends it's never like that it's just that you have to make efforts now previously maybe you just had friends you know you don't have to make efforts you just make friends nicely with other people but when the third aspect of saturn is going to be there on the 11th house that means and now they require your communication now they require your efforts and also this means that you would actually establish or work on some of your skill that is going to help you be recognized in your life. <coughs> and that is going to help you with fulfillment of your desires. Right? So it's like there are going to be distance. There is going to be distance with your, uh, uh, you know, social circle but it would indeed give you benefits or fulfillment of your desires once you start working towards that area. Okay. Then the seventh aspect goes into the third house. So you will get support from your close relatives, close friends, neighbors, now, you know, when for a person with 8th house moon, this placement of Saturn comes in, then it could give materialistic benefits from local government, from relatives, from friends or from neighborhood. It can also mean that for your higher studies, you may also apply for a loan and you would get the loan. And it could also mean that for your higher studies, maybe for your travel, maybe you ask for help monetary help from your relatives or from your extended family and they are going to help you so that's why there's going to be gain of money but definitely for this placement you would require to do something which is a little one step higher towards your career so as to start building a good foundation towards your career and start start with the income process so most of all, I've seen this axis is very important for a person who is going to stabilize their career within the coming years. Because this time becomes very important for their education and for their career. Okay, then the 10th aspect comes into this sixth house. So you have to work hard towards your daily routine. Towards also your health, your nutrition. There could also be debts that you take on. And then later down the years, you have to work hard towards paying off those debts. You have to work hard towards competition and competitive exams. So most of all, I've seen people start giving competitive exams during this period. And... It depends where whatever transits, whatever more transits they are having, this can be a very good competitive exam for them. Only you have to see the placement of Mars, you have to see the uh, Vimshotari Dasha and you have to see the transits, other transits as well. Okay, so that is about, you know, Sarasati for an individual with moon in the 8th house. So those are the events you can expect to happen with you if you have moon in the 8th house and your Sarasati starts. Okay, guys, I hope this will turn out to be helpful for you people and will give you a lot of clarity.
We'll see you next time with the next video. Till then, if you guys have not liked, subscribed my channel, you can go and subscribe my channel so that you know about the videos that I post. And if you guys would like to have your personal readings, you can check out the link below www.unmoleastrology.com and under the reading section, you can book a personal reading for yourself. And under unique reading sections, you can book a unique reading for yourself. See you with the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.